hello guys you're welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you on how to order for products from one of the cheapest chinese e-commerce platform i guess you already know the platform 1688 products on this platform are cheap because one it's a domestic e-commerce platform designed basically for those within china to shop from and secondly you are buying from the manufacturers directly so you're getting these quality items directly from the manufacturers that produce them so you'll be getting them at the best rate they are basically two major challenges you face on this platform one is the language barrier most of the writings on this platform are written in chinese language because it's a local e-commerce platform within china and the second challenge you face is shopping on this platform for you to be able to shop on this platform you need to make use of the local chinese currency called rmb or the chinese yuan so far i have done more than 2000 plus order on 16.8 so whatever i'm sharing with you here are based on my experience on this platform so in this video i will show you the step-by-step -step process you can use in placing order on 16.88 so make sure you stay to the end of this video so if you're coming across this space for the first time my name is stanley i'm a digital marketer I share my experience on this space so those who are just getting started can learn and scale their business so guys don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and put on the notification bell so you get more updates like this so let's go to my mobile device all right so we are right here on the 1688 um website so as you can see everything here is written in chinese language everything is written in chinese language so the first thing we need to do right here is to convert everything here back to english language so for us to be able to achieve this if you're using um an android device you go to your play store you download google chrome if you're using the, um, your iphone you go to your apple store to download your google chrome so the main reason why we're using Google Chrome is because it has some features that enables us to translate this platform back, the language here, right back to the English language. So we scroll up, come to the top right corner here with the trade dot here, we click on it. This option pops up, then we click on translate. Translate is immediately after the find in page and before the and add to home screen. So you click on translate and automatically the platform is being translated to English language. So after translating, the next thing you need to do here is to create an account on this platform. So for us to be able to create an account on this platform, you come to this button here where you, write, where you can see me here, you click on me. So I will be leaving um, a video at the top of at the top screen right here so you can watch how to um, to create your account on this platform without stress okay i don't want to go into creation of account here because i've created a video for that already so let's just hit on a particular product okay i would use a particular particular order for one of my customers to show you how to do this let me pick the product now and then i'll show you how to place the order directly let's go all right so this is one of the products um, one of my customers want me to get for them this product is for, I think, used by Catering, using Catering for cake making and the rest. So right now, before I place any order, I always check out for the quality of this, the product I want to buy, okay? I will scroll down because this manufacturers always keep those descriptions, those properties, those qualities. They'll write it down for you so you know what you are buying. As you can see here, the first thing here is the price. Which is 38.22 yuan. So um, the name of the product is what? Number 106 pieces cake tonable cream mountain TPU pipe bag sets. So for us to be able to check out um, the first thing to check out the quality, we come to this section which shows attributes. So we click on attributes. So attribute is going to show us a lot of features of this product. So if you come here, you see the quality, the material used in the production of the product. You see 
everything here so if it is not what you want you can as well cancel the order go for another product so as you can see the main sale area is africa the main downstream platform we have ebay and other platforms okay there are some products you see aliexpress and co there will be a lot of lists of the main downstream platforms okay after you must have checked the product quality property rather under the attribute section you come over to check the review as you can see other reviews of the product okay check the pro the store has more than seven thousand reviews and also i always check out the rating of the store the store has a three star rating as you can see here it's a general service review of 4.5 which is good for me then after confirming all this then i'll proceed to order the product so now when ordering the product just note these two things there are two prices here there are two fee here the cost of the product and the local log express fee the local express fee is the cost of sending this product to um, your logistic agent that will be shipping it down to your location okay now so i think i didn't mention this at the beginning of this video for you to be able to send this package this order this product to your location you need a logistic agent okay that will ship it down to your country or location okay so now make sure you pick the right agent to use you can make your inquiry about the right agent to use within your own country so um just make your own research on the agent you can use that can ship down this product from china to your location okay if you're in ghana if you're in nigeria okay just look for a reliable logistic agent you can use so the first thing you need to do is to get logistic you ask them for their shipping rate you also ask for their shipping address and their contacts so uh let's proceed now so we must after we must have making our um, decision on getting this product that we decide to get this particular product the next thing we need to do right here is to go right straight to specification here as you can see it here specification so we click on specification right here on specification is going to give us list of the product available it could be in product in size product in different colors so right here you pick the call the color or the quantity you need right here so for this particular product the customer needs just one piece of this so I'll click on one if the customer needs more than one i'll click one two if you need three i'll click three so for this case i need only one so right here the next thing we're supposed to do right here is to click on order now so after we must have selected what we want we come here and we click on discount right here it takes us to the next page where we have to fill in the customer details so right here we come back again we translate if we're not getting english so we have been asked to fill in um you have not you've not filled in the delivering address please fill in the delivering address so now this delivering address is you're going to fix you're going to fill in here is the delivering address of your shipping agent or logistic agent that will be shipping your items down to your country location okay so now you need to chat up with whatever shipping agent you're using you ask them for their contacts and you ask also ask them for the uh, shipping address in china so most of these guys are located within guangzhou so you ask them for their shipping address so you could use it to fill in the right address so please make sure you're filling in the right and correct address because if you put in the wrong address your package will be sent to a different location it's very important you do this the right way please pay attention right here so you don't mix it up so right now you click on fill in you click on fill in okay we click on fill in so right here as you can see we have no address here so we have to we have to add a new shipping address remember this address is the address of your logistic guys your, logis your shipping agent in china that will be shipping these items down to to your home country in this case nigeria okay so we click on shipping address add new shipping address new shipping address i'll click on new 
shipping address. So right here, you first thing you need to put here, right here, is the um you need to put in the address. You need to put in the shipping address. So right here, I will go straight and copy. Let me go back to my phone and um, pick the address. Then I'll come back and paste it paste it here. All right. So I would paste the address at this section here where you see automatic identification beside the automatic identification you will see where they write copy the name and the mobile number mobile phone add so you just highlight there you see paste then i'll click on paste so now this is the chinese address then i'll click on automatic identification right here at the right hand side here then it's going to fill in some of these addresses here okay so i am going to be blowing most of these informations here because they are informations of my customer and i don't want to share it right here in the public domain okay because this training is just for um educational purpose so you know how this works so after filling in this right here the next thing i'll do here is to add the cell phone number of this logistic guy the logistic agent or shipping agent you want to be using right here so i'll go back to my phone again and i'm um, copy this agent's um contact here and i'll come right here again and i'll fill in the contact here okay the next thing i need to know, do here which is the name no remember the name the phone number you're putting here is the phone number of your logistic guys okay the phone number of your logistic guys very very important the phone number of your logistic guys okay so here in this name section you will impute the name of the customer here and also the phone number of the customer you put in the nigerian phone number of the customer in this case wherever country you are if it's um brazil argentina Ghana, Liberia, wherever country you are, make sure you put in your name and your phone number. But before using any logistics, you make sure they can ship to your location. Very, very important. You make sure they can ship to your location. So what do we do here right here? We put in the name and the phone number of this customer. Just like I said, I'm going to be hiding most of the details here for confidential reasons. Okay. All right, so I guess the numbers are correct. So the next thing we need to do here, I'll come over to this section here, right here. I'll click on this set as the default address. So that I always do this when I have a lot of others to place for a particular customer. So when I set this as a default address, whenever I need to place order again for this particular customer, I don't have to start adding the address again to go through the same process to add this address i don't have to go through the same process again so the main reason why we're doing this is for us to be able to identify our items when it gets to the shipping agent warehouse because this logistic guy have a lot of orders they are receiving every day so you don't want to get you don't want your goods to get lost or get mixed up with other person's goods so make sure you write in the right details your right name your right phone number right here on this section so the next thing you need to do right here is click on the set as a default address then you click on save and use you click on save and use as you can see most of this has appeared here so you cross check the details right here again for the last time before you proceed so right here now let's look at this product we've about to place to be sure let's make our confirmation order so the price we are picking one product blue color right so now right here we have a freight fee this freight fee is the express fee which is also called local shipping the cost of sending these items from the manufacturers end to your logistic guys right wherever they are in china in guangzhou wherever they are in china so now that is the cost of sending this particular package to them so now right here we have two prices here we have the price of the products we are buying and the price of the express fee that is the local shipping fee to your logistics guys so when you add it up you will do the total amount of money you're paying for that particular product so next year we see they give us a promo of five 
how you want a bonus of five you are okay one thing i love about this platform is that you are going to be getting a lot of a lot of discounts okay a lot of discount let me just give you this hint right now so just note whenever whenever there is this um black friday whenever i think it should be around november i guess november yeah there is always a massive discount in this product because most of these suppliers are trying to sell out all the old product they have in stock so they can get a renew so they can restock okay so at that point in time you can actually get quality product at a more lower price okay so the next year you have a message so it's always advisable you leave a message for this supplier so after giving my right details i'll still go ahead to tell them what to do i'll tell them to write the name of the customer on the package please kindly write the name of the customer details on the package so i'll just write it here as a message for them so that is what I'm going to do here. I've already gotten the message. Let me just copy and paste right there. Then um, come back here. I'll paste it right in here. Then I'll click on paste. So after clicking on paste, the next thing to do right here is to order. I'll click on the order button. Then I'll wait for it to load. Okay. So right here in this section, right here in this section, let me translate, is the payment option. So we have different payment methods. So the most reliable method of payment right here, if you outside China, is the use of Alipay. So Alipay is a platform, is a payment platform used within and outside China. So when you're buying from outside China, you just you use this to place your order. So what you do right here is the only pay. What you do right here, um, first thing you have to set up your Alipay, right? I have a video that explains how to set up your Alipay and how to go about funding your Alipay. So I will leave the video at the top right corner of this video. So make sure you watch it so you can be able to set up your Alipay account the right way before you proceed with the next before you proceed um with the making the payment on the platform i think creating and setting up your lip is the most important thing you need to even do before you start placing order on this platform so you'll be able to do this yourself you don't need to look for anyone to help you to make the payment for on your behalf so you set up your lip there's a video at the top that will explain all that to you um so the next thing i will do right here um since I've picked Alipay as my payment option and I have set up my Alipay the right way and I've got it funded, the next thing I need to do here, I'll click on to pay. When I come to this to pay option, let's wait for it to load, guys. Then I'll impute my Alipay payment password. My Alipay payment password. So right here, I will click right here to impute my Alipay payment password. So let's go. Then automatically the order will be placed for you. So if you translate right here, you will see that this order, the payment for that particular product was successful. As you can see, it's as easy, straightforward process. All you need to do is to set up to create your account. And then set up your Alipay as a payment option. Then you fund your Alipay. Then come on, straight up, you make your payment without stress. If you have followed the step by step process I share with you in this video, you are going to be able to shop from 1688 at ease without stress. So, guys, if you have a question, you can drop your question in the comment section. I will try my best to answer all. The questions you have in the comment section and if you want to learn more on how to shop on 1688 i'll be leaving my contact in the description of this video so guys i hope you learned from this content today i hope you find this content useful so if you do don't forget to smite the like button subscribe to the channel and then put on your notification bell so you'll be among the first persons to see my content whenever it comes live so see you guys in the next video
Bye.